Um, 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 um. Hey guys, and welcome back. I am in my shop today, and uh, don't wonder if you can see my breath. <laughs> yes, it is super cold. Just put on the heater, waiting for, for it to heat up a little. 11 months ago, I made a video about Starlight, where I tested if you can burn or cut through different recipes of Starlight using a K40 laser cutter. I linked that video um, in the description below, in case um, that card, um, again on the upper right hand corner, refuses to show up. Some days ago, a good friend of mine called me like, Hey dude, I got something interesting nobody wants. You want it? And I was like, yes, sure, man, bring it on. And he was like, okay, I'll be around later. Um, you better make some space. Okay, sure. So he brought me this electric kiln um, as some sort of an early Christmas present, I suppose. It really is in mint working condition. And since I now have a high temperature oven, I can finally test out a lot of good ideas me and my subscribers had in mind. Now, first, a kiln is not a furnace. Uh, it is meant to um, fire pottery, not um, to melt steel, or, but this model still gets up to 2800 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, that's about uh, 1600 degrees centigrade, so hot enough to melt most metals such as gold, aluminum and maybe even iron. So today I want to try out a first idea that Chris Walker came up with in the comments asking if it is possible to make a crucible out of starlight. Well, starlight is what we know a secret recipe super insulator. It is um, a white grayish colored substance that can withstand enormous temperatures. So it insulates whatever is on the unexposed side of it. A crucible, on the other hand, is made to heat up to a maximum of temperature you get in your furnace in order to melt down whatever you put in there. So already there are two totally op 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 oppos opposing, opposing properties that may not be compatible with my experiment today. However, <laughs> as I am curious, I want to find out what is going to happen when I try to melt aluminum in a starlight crucible and how starlight or my own version of starlight behaves when exposed to high temperatures over a longer time. Will we be the first to see how to make an extra terrestrial rustful tinfoil? Or will it end up in a crumbly pile of glowing aluminum? Um, that probably burns down my shop, hopefully. Let's give it a go. not that good. It took four days drying this thing out on a radiator. Is it dry? Is it dry? Is it dry? Is it you don't want to have any moisture left inside of the starlight as basically we made a crude form of dough that will rise when exposed to heat while it is still wet inside. I also made this small crucible and let it dry only over one night um, so there is still some moisture left in there and when I try to melt some lead in there with a the blowtorch you see how it is bubbling up. Now, this can be quite dangerous as it can form a steam explosion. Therefore, I need some heavy protection and an expensive Hollywood style superhero transition. Heat protection suit! Ow. Heat protection suit power! Okay, so I put on the power to the oven 
I will let this heat up for like 15 minutes before I put it in the crucible. Um, I know it might be better the other way around, but in this case I want to make it a challenge. Uh, I want to put in the graphite crucible first, take the time, how long it takes to melt down. We'll pour this out somewhere and then I will put in the starlight crucible and we'll do the same thing. And we'll, we'll see if this thing works or if it will burn down <laughs> some sort of disintegrate or whatever. Now I cut down two cans of aluminum per crucible. I'll fill this in right now. This did not work um, at all, not work as I expected. Um, usually when I put something in this kiln, it takes about five minutes to melt it, at least for aluminum and especially for aluminum cans who are very thin. Um, this time it took like a half an hour. I don't know why, maybe the kiln wasn't hot enough, maybe it's because... But I managed to melt and uh, form this piece of art here. Um, wonderful, wonderful thing. Uh, yeah, I'm proud. I also put in a steel pan in case now the um, crucible out of starlight will shatter. Hopefully it will be. Hopefully it works better. Hopefully, hopefully it won't burn my pot down. Okay, so it can't get worse. So let's try the starlight crucible. Kind of scared. It stinks. Huh? Does not like it too much. I don't think this will work. So I took off the power now, and um, yeah. I got an extinguisher. A crucible made out of homemade starlight. Well, I could have put an ice cream cone in this uh, kiln oven and probably have an identical result. But I was right with my second guess. Let me present you a pile of burnt starlight and some aluminum shreds and some water. So uh, can a homemade starlight crucible withstand higher temperatures over a longer time? No, it definitely can't. And besides um, that even it is quite dangerous, it stinks. Man, it still stinks. <sighs> so do not try to attempt this at home. Uh, I had multiple fire extinguishers on standby and was prepared for what is going to happen. One last thing I have left to try out in this video is another question from one of my subscribers. Is homemade starlight bulletproof? Well, um, as I can't shoot with a live round here in my shop, I have something else. By the way, if you like those videos, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you want to be notified every time I upload a new video, ring this little notification bell. Now, this is a pellet launcher. We use these in special effects. This is air powered and you can load in different sorts of pellets. Um, wood pellets, uh, glass pellets, steel pellets, even sparks and dust pellets. Um, I will try to penetrate through my little uh, leftover crucible and We'll see what's going to happen. And there you have your answers. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have more kiln or um, starlight ideas in mind, just leave them in the comments down below. I will see what I can do. And uh, until then, see ya.